Next question is from K.M. Emerson. What are your thoughts on rucking? Does it combine some of the benefits of resistance training with cardio? What impact does it have on posture? I almost thought you said a dirty word there, Doug. It's, uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm curious to what you guys think. I don't, off the top of my head, I don't see a lot of value in it unless you are specifically training for something where you're going to need to go like for distance with a backpack on you. Yeah. Or yeah. carry like it. If, it's if very you're, specific. Right. If you're somebody who uh, is just trying to get in good shape or you're just trying to improve your, your mile time or just be general strength, whatever. I see no value in it whatsoever. If you are going to, if you're training and you're going to go like a go ruck competition, you know, and that's part of the competition is you have to, you have to carry a, a weighted vest on there. Um, then that makes a lot of sense. So, so rucking essentially is training with like weight on your body, mm -hmm. uh, right? For, for the listeners, so you can use with a backpack, or people will do this with weight, weight vests vest and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm with you, Adam. I think if you're training specifically to get good at carrying things for long distances, mm. like you're going backpacking. So I've had clients that have trained like this, where they they told me, "Hey, you know, I want to get, I, I want you to get me fit and ready. I'm going to do this." You know this this seven day backpacking trip, or we're going to be hiking miles every day. Everything that I'm uh, taking on this trip has to fit on my back. In which case, I would actually have them train uh, this way. They would go and do hikes, and they would carry weight. I'd, I'd have them put weight in their backpack or whatever, or and then towards as they got closer, I had them actually carry the pack that they would carry when they would go uh, on their backpacking trip. Other than that, uh, you know, here's some of the problems with rucking. Um, people don't walk very good anyway. Like they don't have good biomechanics anyway. Right. Then they're gonna throw a lot of lot of load on, and then they're gonna go it for long distances. Your gait. Yeah, yeah it, it, fatigue. I tend to see a lot of joint problems, a lot of foot, ankle, and knee problems. You have to be pretty fit to go. Like I, I don't think you should go from like not hiking a lot. So like I'm just a regular dude now. I'm gonna start rucking. I think you need to be really good at hiking first, like and really fit, and then maybe you can add some resistance. Otherwise, it causes problems. Yeah, I was trying to think of a justified way of like throwing it in to build work capacity, or like from that you know aspect of like if I was to think of conditioning, but like adding weight into my conditioning. If my sport was something where I guess like a wrestling or where I'm actually carrying another person and trying to like. Uh, move another object that was fighting me and like the added resistance of that uh, where it would make sense where the like enduring that mattered like having that that added stress on me would matter uh, I would probably program that in somehow but uh, in, in terms of yeah like the, the joint thing would be my issue with it is all that added weight over time as you're uh, you know walking or running especially with it will uh, will definitely impact your joints negatively. Well, and the second part of the question too is: Does it combine some of the benefits of resistance training with cardio? And yeah, no, tiny bit. no, yeah, not at all. No, no, not really. I mean, it's basically cardio still. It's just. Uh, yeah. uh, I mean, we don't. I, I'm not even a fan of people using weights in circuits. <laughs> That's too close to cardio. Yeah. Uh, doing cardio with just a, a weighted vest or a backpack. You'll get like you'll get a little bit more strength than you will without putting weight on your body, but it's it's all almost all endurance. And then, you know, they ask, what impact does it have on your posture? I mean, depends on the person, you know. And the load, right? If you're yeah. carrying a 60-pound bag, you're probably going to – your posture is going to kind of really compensate to manage that 60-pound mm -hmm. bag. If we're talking about a, a 5 or a 10, 15-pound vest on you, maybe not as much. But if you're loading a backpack on your bag, uh, most people are going to be leaning forward when they do that. Your posture is going to be different. So not a lot of value. Uh, you're not getting a ton of reward. And that's not saying you don't get any reward. You're not getting a, a, a very much reward for the amount of risk and what you have to do. If your benefit is to uh, build strength, uh, there's much better uh, things for you to be doing uh, resistance training-wise. If your goal is to have great cardio endurance, you can have great cardio endurance and not have to put a weighted vest on your back.